Everybody and welcome back to the mind catchers channel I told you guys I was doing some lip swatches today so I'm bringing to you guys the Borghese color eclipse lipsticks there is another word here but everything is Italian so I, I won't even try I'll put it up here what it says on the uh, packaging but Borghese has exquisite packaging everything always comes so beautiful okay so the lip sticks look like this it's kind of like an ombre effect it goes from dark to light it looks very pretty on your vanity it's a very it's a long tool but it's slim so it can fit pretty much in every one of those lipstick holders that you may have uh, when you pull it off first of all the cap is on there very securely it's kind of like a uh, I think like a stopper or something kind of holds it like a rubber piece inside uh, when you roll it up, it is a circle lipstick. It's not pointed, it's more of a circle lipstick. Okay, the shade I have in my hand right now is called Edge. So I'm gonna try that on for you guys right now. Now that is Edge without any type of um, pencil, lip pencil or anything. It looks kind of weird, but it is a very good nude because all you would have to do is pair it with a brown lip liner or maybe a plummy lip liner, depending on which way you want to go with it. And it becomes a gorgeous, gorgeous color. I'll show you guys by pairing it with a brown lip liner. This one is by Nika K. All right guys, so I um, put on the Nika K lip liner along with it. And the Nika K lip liner is pretty much the color of my own skin tone. But basically I just put it around there just to neaten up the lipstick a bit. Also, when you're applying a lip liner, in some cases you treat it just like a transitional color on your lid. You're just looking for something to kind of ease your way into the lipstick. Okay, so it won't be such a shock. It's just like skin and lipstick. But if you ease your way into a lipstick and you have like a little trans transition color like a brown or whatever your skin tone is or maybe a little lighter or a little deeper than your skin tone, it really helps the eyes adjust better to that lipstick so you won't look so shocking. But I really, really love this color. And again, this color is called Edge. I wore this in um, my collab video of Miss Makeup by Tinu. So you guys, please check that out. That link will be below. And again, that is Edge. So for all of these lipsticks, I'm definitely gonna put how much they are and the website where you can purchase them. I can let you know right now, this particular lipstick is super creamy. It feels very good on the lips. It's not sticky at all. It looks matte but it still moves. It, it's not a hard, thick matte, and I, I love more of a retro matte feel. Very, very creamy, very easy to apply. I wasn't tugging at all. Okay, so let's go on to the next color. The next color is called Beyond, and it seems to me like it's kind of a burgundy color. Looks very pretty. And again, I will let you guys know Borghese does their makeup so well. I was expecting perfection with it and that's what I got. This is definitely perfection. The lipsticks feel so good, so creamy on the lips. And it's almost as though even if your lips were not fully exfoliated, it, it possibly would help. It seems like because my lips were not exfoliated but it seems like it's just coating the lips in a way where it doesn't show all of the imperfections in the lip. Very pretty color. And that color again is Beyond. The next color is called Threshold. It looks like it should be a brick red color. Let's see. No. It's a little bit more pink. But again, very, very um, creamy and pretty. It's a very pretty color. 
Now with this color, I would definitely have to match it with a lip liner. I'm not sure which one yet. Um, my go-to lip liner usually is current when I'm dealing with a color close to this one. So let's look, let's see what current looks like. Current did deepen it just a little bit. Now that I see it against current, it looks almost like a corally pink. It's a very pretty color, kind of hibiscusy, if you will. I don't know, but I like it. All right, guys, the next color is Verge, V-E-R-G-E. -E. Looks like that, kind of a brownie color. Let's not too deep of a brown, as you can see. It's almost like it just melts right into my skin tone. I really don't see where I would need a lip liner for that. It looks just like my skin color. So a perfect lipstick for me on a day where I'm, uh, you know, just wearing something very light like today. No lashes, just a little foundation, some powder, and throw this on. No lip liner. That's it. So it will be a perfect um, nude color for a dark skin lady. Very pretty color. All right, guys, the next color is going to be Release. And I'm not even gonna try to say what this color looks like, but it's a very pretty color. And I don't expect that I would need too much of a liner for this color uh, either. I would just put a little bit of um, chestnut. Okay, so hmm, I really like this one too. Um, like we're into that less is more type look and I really think this is very pretty. I really think this is a very pretty bridal pinky tone color for lips. Alright guys, the last color that I have here is called Escape. And I can see right here on the lipstick that there's going to be a little bit of sparkle involved with this one. It's more of an orangey or reddish orange color. And I'm right, it's very bold, and but it's beautiful. It's sparkly and pretty. It really reminds you of a sunset. It's a very pretty color. Now with this one, I definitely would line my lips. I would use chestnut again, my browns. I, I really stick with my browns. If I wanted this to pop a little bit more, I would use either Night Moth or Current. So uh, because Current is sitting right here, I'm gonna try that. So there you have it, those lips are popping. Beautiful color. You don't have to add a thing, no lip gloss, nothing. It gives you all of that pop and that pizzazz without adding anything but your liner and your lipstick. It's very pretty. It has your golds in there, Your bronzy tone it's gorgeous you will definitely see this lipstick in a tutorial later on it's beautiful. so that's it for my swatches of the Borghese lipsticks we talked about the packaging I show you all of the colors and um, they really really looked for colors that are very um, flattering to all women I think all women of all skin tones could get away with all of those lip colors all of them are beautiful. Uh, whether you pair them with liners or not, they're all beautiful uh, colors and they're all more on the neutral side. So I think so many people can get away with those, okay? So I hope you guys enjoy. I'm really digging this lipstick. It's beautiful. Okay, I hope you guys enjoy and you guys go ahead and hit up Borghese. They have a Facebook page. They have a uh, Instagram page. I believe they have Twitter as well. So I'll leave everything down below so you guys can so stay tuned for more videos, more updates about the different products that I've been using, what I think um, works out pretty well, what I think is kind of like a bust. Um, I'm also going to do a brush review for you guys. So please, there's going to be a whole lot coming up, especially in the month of April for you guys. So stay tuned for that. Cyber Kisses. And see you guys in the next video. Bye.